Hello, my name is Josephine Wandia Munene, and I'm a lactation support professional and an executive committee member of the Kenya Association for Breastfeeding. I'm really excited to be on the One Health Lens podcast at Nation Media talking about breastfeeding and why you should also care about it. Hello. Welcome to the One Health Lens Podcast, where we have conversations about public health, global health, and the road to universal health coverage. I'm your host, Dr. Diana Wangari Gitao. And today we're talking about a topic that's very dear to my heart. <laughs> and mostly because I think it's something we don't really talk about, right? It's something that I think in the conversations around maternal child health, we tend to focus on mother delivering safely and the baby is okay. Past that, we don't have the conversations around what happens. And I've personally seen women who have delivered safely, but thereafter, the frustration, the pain they're in makes them want to give up. The question, are they good mothers? That's remember, after nine months, of you carrying a child and breastfeeding is what makes you question, are you a good mother? So that's the conversation we're having today. And as always, we have very important guests in the studio with us. I'll let them introduce themselves and then we'll get going. Josie? <laughs> Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, my name is Josie Munene. I'm a certified lactation support professional mm. and I've been working in this area for about 12 years now. Um, yeah. started when I became a mother my son my yeah. eldest son is 14 and a half yeah. so um, struggled quite a bit <laughs> yeah. um, and then I realized that I didn't want this to be the norm mm. for everyone else so yeah. then now I, I went into breastfeeding counseling yeah. and climbed up through the professional um, ranks so to speak yeah. so now I'm also a co-founder and yeah. executive committee member of the Kenya Association for Breastfeeding Amongst Some, many other things. Uh, amongst, <laughs> which we'll come to, by yeah. the way. <laughs> uh, Doc Esther. Oh, thank you for having me. Yeah. My name is Dr. Wanjiro Gishuri. Yes. I am a certified lactation support provider. Yeah. So my journey through breastfeeding actually started after medical school yeah. when we started offering breastfeeding education to mothers. Yeah. So this was compulsory, mm. but I really enjoyed it. Mm. And then about two or so years later, I got my own baby. Yeah. And oh my gosh, <laughs> it, I could not translate that knowledge ba baptism into by the fire. practical part. Yeah. So then I did eventually get the hang of it and yeah. I had a wonderful breastfeeding journey. Yeah. But now in my practice, I have come across a lot of mothers who mm. are having a difficult breastfeeding yeah. journey. Even healthcare professionals, yeah. they're having so many challenges. Mm. And that's what made me immerse myself back. Yeah into the lactation specialist yeah, yeah. so that I need to help everyone to have an amazing journey as yeah. I did. Yeah. We all deserve that. Absolutely. I mean, it's one of those things that there's no textbook definition, yes. right? There's no one size fits all. Exactly. Every experience is different. And it's exactly. almost you have to have gone through the experience to understand because, yeah. you know, whether it's a woman, a man, doesn't matter. Most mm. people would imagine, I mean, breastfeeding is natural, I right? Know, yeah. You've had a baby, automatically milk comes. Yeah. All this should be automatic, I right? Know. So then what's, what's, the, what's the issue, right? Just what has been that journey? You said you had your first child. Mm. What happened? Yeah. So it it really made me question myself, like you're saying, because yeah. I had prepared everything, the kids' clothes, you know. Um, I, and I realized yeah. actually, even my for myself, mm. I think I'd only bought one nursing bra. Yeah. I didn't even have a breast pump. Yeah. So that's how, like you're saying, we're yeah. so focused on those nine months yes. and the baby. Mm. Then you have the baby and mm. you're like, oh, I have to feed this yeah, person. Yeah. But mm. I don't understand how to put this person to the breast. Yeah. And when, I, when I'm teaching uh, people, I tell them, it's like when you buy a new phone mm. and it's blank. Mm. You know where it just yeah. starts with even what's mm. your language. Yes. Like literally that is it. When you yeah. hold that baby for the yeah. first time mm. and that baby is that blank phone. So they need to learn from you. Mm -hmm. You're learning from them. Yes. You don't even know that you have to hold your baby in a certain way where they face you. And there's yeah. a reason for that. The yeah. same way when you face your food, you know, small yeah. things yeah. that unless somebody teaches you, yeah. 
and before mm. back in the day when mm. we still had many communities mm. you would see it you There'd would be a community of women yeah you know? yeah because yes. we learn by seeing yeah. we learn by modeling yeah. so you would see somebody you'd yeah. see your aunt or mm. you'd see your older cousin you mm. would see them breastfeeding yes, yeah. but now we live in silos mm. you know so mm. even when i had my child yeah. it was an apartment yes. style you know mm. so yeah. it's me it's my partner mm. yeah. um, maybe the house help yes. Tell me which one of them is going to help me with this meeting. None. <laughs> At yeah. the hospital, yeah. it, they're already so overwhelmed and overworked. And yeah, like sure. I said, this is 14 and a half years yeah. ago, you know. Yeah. And even then, it was a big hospital. I'm in a nice wing. I'm struggling. I don't yes. know how to put the baby to the breast. Yeah. I've had an emergency C-section. Yes. I barely know what's even happening yeah. with myself. Yes. And everyone just tells me, just make sure before you're discharged, yeah. your, baby your baby is breastfeeding. breastfeeding. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's a question you're like, okay. Do you yeah. know, it's so traumatizing. Yeah. It actually took me about six weeks yeah. for my nipples to heal yeah. and for oh, me wow. to start looking at my son yeah. with anything apart from fear mm. and trepidation. Oof. Because it was... I had grooves. Mm. I, I, he's crying. Mm. I'm crying. He's feeding every two mm. hours, which is normal. Yes. Mm. But nobody tells me it's normal. Yeah. Yeah. So I mm. think there's something wrong with my yeah. baby. Mm. Yeah. Um, I can't give formula because he was already a big baby. Yeah. And the pediatrician just told me, yeah. just do not give this boy formula because it's mm. not good for him. He's already a big baby. Oh. So you just find out how mm. to do it. I go to my obs guy. Mm. There are grooves. He just mm. tells me. Just, just just let let that breast rest yeah but find a way to feed your child just oh, like that okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah. All right, then. <laughs> You've been thrown out to Thank the wilderness. <laughs> Figure you know. it out. So I go yeah. online. Of course, I see then all these resources, yeah. but they're not localized. Mm. So I'm like, yeah. if I had given birth in the States, yeah. Europe, local. the mm. UK, I'd have somebody literally yeah. coming home and mm. teaching yes. me. So I was like, why don't we have this here? Mm. Mm. Like, why why is that not possible? So yeah. that's when I started researching. Yeah. On, on Because I, I questioned myself mm. as a woman, yes. as a provider, as Absolutely. a mother. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And that stress as well is not helping you At in all. terms of just the milk production yeah. as well. <laughs> it, it, it's the adverse effects of that, yes. right? Yes. So, I mean, in terms of, let's even medically, what's what's happening on the other side, right? And I'm turning to you. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's, what's just happening, right? You typically, and I know everyone says it's automatic, right? Yeah. You've given birth, right? Uh -huh. There are hormones that are meant to help you trigger, yes. right? Yes. That help trigger milk production. Yes. But then beyond that, what circumstances do we say that then, you know, there's the encouragement of stay with the baby, then milk will just come out. What typically is happening, even what she mentioned about the nipples as well, right? Because the position you're in when you're not breastfeeding versus when you're breastfeeding, the nipple position is different. different. Medically, just what's, what's, what's the difference? So on this medical side, mm. uh, we are pro breastfeeding, mm. mm -hmm. right? So the problem is, I think the biggest problem mm. is, yes, it's natural, mm. but everyone wants to leave the conversation at that. Mm -hmm. It's natural, you mm. just breastfeed your baby. Mm -hmm. But then there is no one to assist you with it. Mm -hmm. No one is expecting um, you to have any challenges. Mm. Everyone is expecting you to just be natural about it. I mean, I'm a doctor. Mm. I had done this breastfeeding education mm. for a while, for over a year mm. before I got my baby. Yeah. And I was so confident. Mm. You should have seen me. I had mm. no problems. Ah, you got I this. I was confident. Mm. Yeah. But one day, mm. two days, and then you don't have support. Yeah. So the people in your system at that time, yeah. usually your relatives, mm. and um, I don't know how to say mm. this, they're really helpful. <laughs> <laughs> I don't and believe you, like, but okay. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Your milk has not come yet. So it's more I judgmental. Brought you this, that I brought you this, mm. I brought you this, are you eating this? Mm. And this doesn't help. Mm. Because you start to feel like, oh my gosh, it is me. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, everyone else is helping, mm. but I'm just not able to breastfeed. Mm. And then of course, there's all the other things. Uh, there's pain. Mm. You put your baby on your breast mm. and there is pain. Mm. And no one tells you that that's not normal. Mm. Your helpers mm. are going to tell you, yes, that's how it is. Mm. Just and find your way around. This is life. Mm. Yeah, mm. That's, that's this normal. is motherhood. <laughs> yeah, this is motherhood. <laughs> yeah. So then you don't even know to seek help. Mm. Yeah. Because everything that you go through, mm. you are told, yeah, 
Mm. How did you think I did it with you? Mm. <laughs> so we don't know. You don't even know when to call this medical practitioner mm. who's available for you. Mm. Yes. But you don't know. Mm. Mm. You think it's normal. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Where does the help come in, right? Mm. You're in pain. Mm. Your milk production is low. I mean, you've mentioned uh, breastfeeding every two hours, mm. right? Mm. How do you, you, you've looked it up online. Mm. Where, where, do, where do you arrive at this aha moment or mm. is it just gradual? What, what happens? Where does the help come from? No, and actually the yeah. help is supposed to come from like the, the first, the, the first moment. Mm. Yeah? yeah. So on paper mm. and and some people are actually able to do it but on paper mm. is it starts with the minute you have your baby mm. you put them skin to skin yeah. so of course once all the procedures have been done mm. um and so if everything is followed through mm. it means that you get help from the first moment yes. like there's somebody walking mm. with you from the facility yeah. to the home and yeah. all that and you see if for instance you've taken uh prenatal breastfeeding preparation classes yeah. which are there yes, yes. So you already mm. have an inkling yeah. mm. of, okay, I know my baby is going to stay on the breast for a bit longer in the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Because this is a baby who is also trying to understand what is this in my mouth. They yes. used to make yes. just sucking their, mm. their, their fingers, their yes. hands yeah. when yeah, they're mm. in utero, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. So even for the baby, it's like yeah. I can smell something familiar, mm. which is now coming from the nipple. Yes. So it's a very... It's supposed to be such a beautiful journey. Like mm. if I'm talking about it now, there should be music playing. You know, like the violin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, yeah. that's the way it's yeah, supposed to yeah, be. Very yeah. dreamy, yeah. very yeah. amazing. Mm. Where you yeah. have this time with your baby. Yes. Yeah. You're learning each mm. other. And if you watch these videos mm. where the baby actually crawls to the breast, mm. the baby's oh, yes. put on the tummy, they <laughs> oh, crawl to the I'm, I'm telling you, amazing. it is uh, a romance the- <laughs> movie. <laughs> yes. So, so yeah. help starts from the beginning. Yes. And that's where now you're told, if you can't remember, because also yeah. labor is the biggest focus and, yeah. and birth itself. Yeah. Yeah. But the breastfeeding preparation yeah. just reminds you, it kind of triggers you like, yeah. oh, okay, I remember I'm supposed to hold my baby facing like tummy to tummy, we say, but yes. basically facing me yes. so that they're able full access to the breast. Yes. Um, uh, it's okay for the. I, I know I only have very small amounts of milk yeah. to begin with, yes. five and ml, mm. and that's okay. Mm. Yes. If the baby stays on the breast mm. for longer than half an hour, that's yes. also okay yeah. because they yes. are learning. Mm. So it's basically validation of the yes. things that are mm. happening, yes. which normally would be unusual yeah. because we don't always see other people. We don't see our yeah. friends. You don't, in we those don't know. first 24 yeah. hours. Absolutely yeah, not. And Even again, the first like month. Said, exactly, mm-hmm. the yes, first yes, month. Yes, so when yes. we are seeing them, yeah. they're already confidently they holding already their babies. Yes. They've healed. Yeah, they mm-hmm. The baby is latching well, yes. mm-hmm. has also become confident yeah. at the breast. But yeah. those first, mm-hmm. exactly. And that transition of milk, yeah. even just knowing, yeah. are moving from 5 ml yeah. on the first day yes. to about 60 ml on, at the end mm-hmm. of the second week yeah. you see it's a it's a transition yeah it's a journey yeah it is a journey, it's a journey. It's a journey yeah. Yeah. yeah and just yeah. to remember it's yeah. a journey yeah. to remember that you're both learning yeah. each other mm. you know this yes. is such a beautiful relationship yeah. but it starts uh, 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 yes it starts in utero but yeah. now the actual hi how are you mm-hmm. you're going to your yeah. first date <laughs> yes. you know <laughs> it's like do, 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 how, how are you there's you some know? awkwardness <laughs> at the initial we met yeah, in no, person yeah, exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally yeah. Meeting yeah. Person, exactly you know? yeah. Yeah. so and, and this yeah. other person only yeah. knows how to communicate by it, but they can barely they open their eyes yeah. by the way yeah. which means yeah. all they, they do is cry they can barely see you so do you know how much grace you also have to give yourself a lot, which you don't a lot. even know exactly because yeah. you're meeting them yeah. for the first time yeah. you don't even know how you feel yeah. seeing your baby for yeah. the first time and we don't have these conversations as women uh, uh, even friends circle you don't have that initial mm. conversation that no. this was my experience mm. right mm-hmm. you're all happy the baby's here everyone the is congratulating here. Everyone you is and good. whatnot everyone is healthy. right yeah. and there's no conversation yeah. at all right yeah. then it sort of prob- propagates this idea in society that it's all natural yes. right yes. so even when you're struggling to go back to work right yes. then oh. how do you have that conversation because yes. you've gone through the first month yeah. right now you have to go back to work yeah oh my gosh and yeah. then that's another challenge in itself yeah, that is yeah. A, because yeah. you still have to breastfeed for, for at least six, six months, months right yes. and you have to go back to work yes yeah you have to express you have to somehow manage to get the milk to the baby what's wh- what's that experience like first of all yeah. let me just share my experience yeah. uh by the time i was 
due to go back to work yeah. i had already gotten the hang of breastfeeding yeah. the expressing everything yeah. by that time was working fine yeah but we have to remember mm. this is not a breast mm. and a mouth mm. these are two whole human beings mm. so everyone prepares for the birth of the new baby yeah. no one prepares for the new mother ah good point no mm. one is going to know mm. you will not know who you will be yes. after delivery of this baby ah. mm. so now you have been at home mm. it's been 3 4 months mm. yes You've been with this baby 24/7. Mm. You've been breastfeeding, mm. expressing, you've bonded, everything is yeah. good. Mm. And now you're going back to work. You have milk. It's in the fridge. Mm. Everything is working fine. Mm. But for some of us and I will say me, mm. it was extremely difficult. Mm. I will tell you, mm. I did not go back to work mm. until almost 6 months mm. because I simply could not. Mm. Why not? That's a good question. I don't know, but I could not go to work. You couldn't I couldn't get over the leaving your baby, baby alone. Mm. I couldn't leave mm. my baby. Mm. And guess who was taking care of my baby? Mm. My mother. Mm. So no mm. one safe. So far. no one would even mm. understand mm. what is wrong with you. Mm. Your mother, your baby is with the best person. Mm. How can you not go back to work? Mm. But there w- there's a whole lot it's a whole person mm. you're dealing with. Mm. So we've sorted out the breastfeeding, we have the breast milk, mm. but we need to consider mm. this person's emotions, mm. the anxieties. Mm. These are things, these are conversations that need to be had. Mm. I was lucky at that time my immediate supervisor mm. was sort of very aware. Mm. And uh, she gave me a very easy get back to work mm. which I couldn't handle mm. to be honest mm, yeah. and by 2 weeks I was out again mm. Mm. it became a very long story mm. but this is something that we all need to be aware mm. of that everyone is individual they have their own individual journeys mm. and we can't generalize there is no one size fits all mm. yeah. and imagine that's you a medic mm. that's me a medic yeah. and I was working yep. in a very good health facility mm. Mm. with a very good lactation room mm. with a fridge and everything mm. and everything was perfect really mm. like, because i would yeah. express my milk and someone would come for the milk immediately yeah. mm. like everything was perfect mm. except i wasn't mm. Mm. it's a different mm. person who, uh, after childbirth it's mm. a different person who comes it's in a, different person. a different person altogether right different. Okay. Very different. and i mean it's part of that conversation again we're not having as well yeah. right the impact of motherhood just mm. on a well on a mother yeah. <laughs> yeah. but on a woman right yeah. 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 that impact because then it's not it's not your meant to know these things yeah. right mm-hmm. it's not that you're meant to even no one tells you mentally psychologically mm, exactly. what that impact will be yes. right yeah. Yeah. yes yeah when people even talk about postpartum depression yeah. yes no one really says it's a thing people in fact to judge you there'll be yeah. stigma they, around yeah. it yes. because then I it's a factor of I was you actually had, asked, yeah. do you think you're the first person to have a baby? Yeah, yeah. and to go back to work, to like to, to work. link them. You're not the first yeah, person to have a baby and go millions. back to work. <laughs> yeah. <You know. laughs> so it's not helping. Yeah, not yeah. Helping. it doesn't help. Yeah. And it's something we actually have to screen for. Like yeah. if you have a really good um, LSP lactation yeah. yes. uh, support provider, yeah. professional, yes. you screen for that um, yes. mental health wellness yeah. yes. and well-being. So yes. there's a common scale that's used. Yes. There are many other ones, but usually it's the Edinburgh scale. Yeah. yeah. And it's it's to check after about two weeks. Yeah. How yes. are you doing? Mm. How are you feeling? Mm. Yes. Uh did you wake up well? Yeah. Yes. What what's your mood like? Mm. You know, mm. because yes. we, it's so important to distinguish between the baby yep. blues which are fine because yes. it's depression. almost like PMS because yeah. our hormones are truly all over the place. Yeah. Yes. But now this is like yeah. how much has that changed? Yeah. You know, how much have you already been affected? Is yes. it also yes. affecting you as you as a person? As a person. Mm. The way you born because of yeah. course there's a clear expectation. Yeah. Yeah. that you're going to see your child yeah. and fall in love with them which mm. again is a myth it is a myth it's a it it's is. a huge myth yeah. Yeah. and there's nothing wrong with that because like i said you're yeah. meeting this person for the first it's time it's a relationship exactly. between you and your yeah. child exactly yeah. right and yeah. you don't know exactly what else is going to go within you and what yeah. is happening yeah. within you so yeah. it's so important yeah. and i feel it's every so i i actually have four children yeah. Yeah. and it's 
with each and every one of them yeah. my relationship has been different with the mm. way i've met them where yeah. have i been yeah. in the rest because i'm a whole person mm. with many yeah, other exactly. things happening yeah. where am i when i'm having my my second son where yeah. am i when i'm having my third yeah. fourth yeah. you know who am i at that Absolutely. point in time Absolutely. environmentally yes. what's happening exactly. as well yeah, yeah. How, what's happening at work yeah. where am i in my career yeah. how 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 has all this collided yeah. yes so it can't be just oh you've given birth and therefore you you as a mother mm. Josie as a mother is mm. A silo. Yes. Josie as a professional is a silo. Yeah. You know, yeah. as yeah. a partner, as a sister, yeah. yes. as a you know daughter. Yeah. Yeah. No, becomes. I am the same person. Yeah. Same person. Yeah. So again, we come back to the support. Yeah. The support. Where is your village? Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Where is your village? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I mean, it's it's, and I, I want to come to the conversation around sort of work, you returning back to work mm. and the support you get. Mm. Because I feel like if you're much more open in that, mm. even if it's at the time of returning to work, mm. you're saying, okay, fine, I understand. I can mm. speak to the HR, mm. right? Yeah. Because I've gotten the impression it's about most workplaces keeping a room where women can breastfeed mm. and it's that's as far mm. as it goes mm. yet a room is not support no, it's not it's not support it's not. right no. and i mean initially we're having this conversation whereby um women are breastfeeding in the cars and yes. whatnot yes. right yes and you're thinking then i have to go back to the same building yes. right yeah. relate with my colleagues yes. right yes. in this kind of environment yeah. right yeah. even in terms of your performance that's going to be impacted of naturally yeah. right yeah. so in terms of that conversation in the workplace yeah. right yeah. what typically would be that conversation you want to say okay you have to understand this mm. is what the kind of supports that's required right yeah yeah and that starts during pregnancy yeah so already because we know mm. Um, everybody there should know anyway. Yeah. If I'm the one who's pregnant, yeah. I'm going off to have a baby. Yeah. Therefore, I come to you and I tell you, yeah. I would like to come back to yeah. this workplace because yeah. I like my job, yeah. hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or I need my job. And yeah. I yeah. need to earn money, but yeah. hopefully I like my job. Yeah. Like, I like my job. I yes. want to come back. Yeah. But what does coming back mean? Yeah. So this is not a conversation we should yeah. be having yeah. one week before we go back. Ah, mm -hmm. yes. Or on yeah. Friday when you're yes. back on Monday. Yes. No. Yeah. This is a conversation yeah. we have from before. Yeah. And we look at it. So like yeah. now workplaces, like you said, the, there's the law that's there. The yeah. Health yeah. Act so of 2017. 2017. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Section 71 and 72. So yes. yeah. small sections. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, but it's very clear. Yeah, but yeah. profound enough mm -hmm. in the yes. sense that mm -hmm. you need a room mm -hmm. and you need time. By the way, that mm -hmm. time is very important. Yes. Okay. So and how no much point. time is it? So mm. it's an hour, which yeah. isn't too bad mm. for yeah. every eight hours mm. work. Okay. Yeah, it's eight, eight hours. hours. No, yeah, four hours of work. It's eight hours. Mm. Okay. So there, there are two bills. Yeah. There, there, there are two. There are two documents out yeah. there. Okay. There's the Health Act of 2017, yes. which is 71 and 72. Mm -hmm. But there was also the breastfeeding bill, which mm. unfortunately was never enacted. And that's the one yeah. Honorable Sabina Chege brought to the table. Oh. And I remember we even went to the stakeholders mm. meeting for that as the Kenya Association for mm -hmm. Breastfeeding. Yes. Now that one brings in more regulations mm. because mm. it actually brings in penalties. Mm -hmm. And it oh, talks okay. about like if you have a minimum number of employers, yes. you yes. must have X, Y, and Z. Yes. Yes. Um, public buildings must have a, a crash, a changing mm. room, you know. So she went deeper, mm. and we really pray that mm. we get that back onto the yeah. table and we get people talking about it. Yeah. But Section 72 is one hour for every eight hours worked. Yeah. And what happens? The yeah. idea is that. Um, Ideally, every three hours, you should be expressing. Mm, yes. okay. So then you have 20 minutes. So you split up. Mm. The, the perfect ideal one would be mm. that on paper, yep. where um, you're working eight hours. So mm. every three hours, you, you express for about 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Then every three hours, 20, 20 minutes. So that's already yeah. six yeah. hours. Yeah. Mm. And then now you have yeah. another leeway mm. for yeah. another 20 minutes. Yes. Um, so the idea there is mm. that in an ideal world, you already have that nice room. Mm. You don't stage. have a schedule, mm. even your scheduling. Because yeah. that's where I find like mm. the moms I work with, mm -hmm. everything falls apart. Because yeah. it's like, first of all, mm. every three hours, it's not like I can just Stand block up and it go. off. Yeah. Mm. And if you ask them, why can't you block it off? Because nobody understands yeah. the importance of me providing food, mm. literal mm. food mm. Yeah. for, for my, my baby. baby. Yeah. Yeah. So if I tell them, um, between this 
time and this time yes. for half an hour mm. i'm not available yes. because i'm going to express milk mm. they're like well between expressing milk mm. and having a meeting with our mm. shareholder yeah, our client exactly. oh, yeah. which one is, which more, one is important? more important and you know they, between they you and in a salary oh yeah <laughs> that's essentially what they're saying and you know, <laughs> you know? it's not just yeah. expressing you know? milk mm. yes. because you're not, you're not just going to rush that and mm. you need to get moved yeah. out. And just, <laughs> you're not happy. It was a man's world. Even, 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 even cows need to prepare. Yeah. It's not going to work. Yeah. Yeah. And mm. if you just rush that, and sometimes mm. this room is so far away from your workplace. Mm. That's another mm. thing. Mm. Yeah. So you walk, walk, walk really fast. Mm. You get to the room mm. and you sit down mm. and you start expressing. And the yeah. milk will not come. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You have to sit down, you have to relax. Yeah. Mm. And then after that, mm. Will you even be able to stand? Mm. Yeah. You're going to be dizzy. Mm. You need to drink something. Mm. And yet you're being called for that meeting. Mm. So I think there is that understanding mm. that needs to develop among everyone. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You know, mm. the girls, mm. the boys, yeah. everyone mm. needs to know yeah. that when we say you need time to express breast milk, mm. it's not just a technical function. Yeah. Mm. You are still Good a point. person. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Mm. It is. Mm. There's a process to it. It's mm. not you just You don't just walk in. It's not like a tap. You yeah. walk in and you open yeah. the water is out and yeah. you're yeah. done. Yeah. No, yeah. you're still a person. It yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. So that uh, village starts yeah. there. Yeah. That your workplace, your yeah. colleagues, yeah. your yeah. line manager, yeah. they yeah. are yes. part of your village. Yes. yes. yes and are. you need to engage yeah. them beforehand. Yeah. 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 I mean, in your work, do you get that support? What because I, I can very easily see mm. how you're having a conversation, a corporate meeting, mm. and the same between all the competing priorities and uh, getting value for their shareholder. Uh-huh. This one doesn't even feature mm. in that, right? Mm. So then, what's what's how does that even co- uh, that conversation start? Is it be, uh, you, do you necessarily need to have had either a female HR mm-hmm. or enough employees where how do we get to that conversation first of all right yeah. what's what's the easy or, or what has worked in the past and and that's that's the reality yeah. is that you do need an ally let yeah. me put it that way yeah. so whether they are male or female yeah. and you'd be surprised that sometimes women yeah. are not our allies because that's they are the true. ones who will come yeah. back and tell you but yeah. i did that's this true. Mm. even so i why? managed uh, and, and express so in the toilet in yeah. the car yeah. yes. or, or, or something like that yeah. yes and then you realize that yeah. actually you just need one person who has actual and and that's unfortunately the, yeah. the thing about seeing is believing in yes. this case yeah. right yeah. because clearly the data is not working for yeah. us we yeah. all know yeah. why we are talking about exclusive breastfeeding for six months we yes. know the benefits mm. of breastfeeding yes. for the mother the yeah. society the baby, baby and all yeah. that right. yeah. so unfortunately you actually need somebody who believes mm. in that who yeah. really believes in you and knows that yeah. You being a mother, mm. you being given time to express mm. does not make you less productive. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's the same way when we started working from home during mm. COVID and mm. we were forced. Mm. That one, we yeah. had no yeah. choice. Yeah. Yeah. People actually turned out to yeah. be more yes. productive, more productive. Yes. Yes. than sitting in the office and mm. being on social media for mm. our generation, Facebook, for the yeah. new generation, <laughs> yeah. it's TikTok. Yeah. But so it's the same thing, mm-hmm. being able to place that argument mm. and to go. Because, of course, unfortunately, yeah. it's very hard to do it bottom up. Yeah. So, you know, having an ally yeah. Yeah. Yes, at the as, top yeah. and to say, and not necessarily HR, because, yeah. again, HR takes their... Mm. Someone passes someone, it on someone, to, you know? Yeah, exactly. And it's just to have that one person yeah. who actually says, yeah. I understand. Yes. Yeah. And mm. since you have a team, yeah. you have that village who yeah. can plug in mm. during mm. the times when you yeah. need this. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not even just about the room, but what yeah. about flexi time? Why Absolutely. do I have to leave my baby yeah. at 6 a.m. Yeah. to come yes. to the office mm. at 9 yeah. so that yes. I can have tea at my desk I and know. you can see me? I know. Exactly. That's two hours in traffic or so. And yes. Yes. Can you imagine? Absolutely. Why can't I start? Yeah. If there are meetings that I can take online, if yeah. there is work that I can submit yeah. from home, yes. Yes. then I come in at about 11 yes. and then I can plan myself and maybe mm. leave at about... I don't know, three, four, because yeah. I've done the substantial work yeah. that needed me be in done. person. Yes. Yes. But yeah. the rest of it, I'm yeah. still productive. Mm. I'm still meeting my goals, yes. KPIs, yeah. whatever. Mm. And again, it's work culture. Yeah. What is the culture within of that the place? organization? You know? Right. But yes, we need to have it at um, at all levels. Yeah. And yes. we have found, like you are asking, yeah. what works yeah. is actually from the management mm-hmm. level. Mm-hmm. And we've seen if we go into a company and mm-hmm. we're talking to organizations, if yeah. we actually have somebody who is very high level yeah. and who is an ally, yes. it makes it so much it easier mm-hmm. because yeah, it we still have that hierarchical. Down, many, yeah. many no. companies are yes. still very yes, hierarchical. Absolutely. So yeah. it's that one of no, yeah. we need to have these provisions yeah. in place. We yeah. need to have a policy. Yeah. 
how can and we make it, can it be work? Implemented. It actually can be implemented. It can. It's yeah. not rocket science. And, and, and I like what you said around performance, right? Mm. Because fundamentally it's about performance right in any organization yes, yes, yes. so maybe they might not acknowledge so these are the medical or health benefits mm -hmm. but performance mm -hmm. right the same way we are having all these conversations around gender equity right yes. being able to say the return on investment on this yes. is going to be this x mm -hmm. right so once you're able to have that conversation about performance mm. let's leave everything else behind yes. a woman who's able to say have flexi hours as you said mm. able to have this kind of support structures so then the performance is this then yeah. it becomes a data point around something that they can take back to shareholders and yes, say actually exactly. the reason we are implementing this policy mm. is because mm. our return on investment is mm. this exactly. right yeah. when then that becomes make, an easier conversation you don't make a mother yeah. choose between her mm. job yeah. or mm. her baby mm. absolutely, when, absolutely. The, when, when you have to make yeah. that choice then yeah. performance will suffer yeah mm. absolutely yes. absolutely mm. and mm. i mean uh, and I'm going to come back to why the association. Mm -hmm. But I also don't want to leave out people who, we might be lucky we're in Nairobi, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. We're going to maybe formal employment or workplaces yeah. mm -hmm. that are structured, for mm -hmm. example, yes. right? Mm -hmm. The women, and I know particularly you, Josie, mm -hmm. you work women outside mm -hmm. in rural settings, mm -hmm. people who are working in more, um, what do you call it, uh, marginalized yeah. and all this, and even cultural mm -hmm. aspects. Mm -hmm. How's that, right? Because mm -hmm. I'd imagine it's, not necessarily a different experience mm, no. but it's enhanced right mm. it's magnified right yes. mm. how has that been you're working with women who are mm. saying kitui mm. um vihiga mm. right how, how what's the problem there beyond just yes they are struggling breastfeeding what's mm. what are the other elements so it's actually amazing when i went through the kdhs uh, data 2022 yeah. and they talked about the employment yes majority of uh, people are actually employed in agriculture mm. okay. and casual employment. Yes. Mm. Yes. So us here, mm. we are truly a small number. Yeah. Yeah. We are adults. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. even these people, forget even rural, yeah. the, ma our mama fours, yeah. our domestic true. health, yeah. I'm not even going to go far. Mm. So how many of us do we find, and this mm. had become a, a, a way of life, your your domestic helper gets pregnant, you yeah. know that you have already started looking for, looking for a new one. For her. Yeah. 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 Because first of all, yeah. you can't have any nini. Mm. Ati maternity leave. Maternity leave. <laughs> oh. Why am I paying someone else a new? A new but us, yeah. we are agitating. Us, we must have maternity leave. Yeah. Yeah. But, but my domestic yeah. help is not going to have maternity leave because I must have yeah. a seamless, yeah. you know, work. So even starting with us, and I always very say, let's point. start with ourselves. Because these are the point. ones yeah. that we know yeah. for sure, unless she's getting mm. paid mm. maternity leave from me, yeah. she has to go back to work probably within two weeks of mm. delivering. Absolutely. Sure. Mm. Higher. Yeah. She probably doesn't have a fridge. Mm. She's an in, in an informal settlement. Yeah. Yeah. Even if she has a fridge, what happens is that yeah. they put it at more or less the lowest setting, just enough to keep whatever it is that they yeah. need because it's yeah. very expensive to run a fridge. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Very expensive. Mm. And most of them are not even on the grid. Mm. And if they are, it's just expensive. Exactly. Life is expensive. Mm. Yeah. So this lady... Mm. She went off, had mm. her baby. Maybe mm. if you're kind enough, somebody mm. has given her the two or three yeah. weeks that she needed mm -hmm. and, she's and she's back. She has yeah. left a two week old. Are we giving her time in between the No, she's Nataka nyumba nikifika vile niliacha. You know, exactly. I, mean, you know, from I want here. to make sure food yeah, is cooked yeah, and all that, exactly. yeah. Have we given her even that provision of 1 hour for every no. 8 hours no, worked? No. And her baby is 2 weeks old. No. So her mm. already mm. just because of her working yes. conditions mm. yes. means that in chances are her baby is yeah. already on cow yeah. milk, yeah. cow's milk. Mm. Yes. She's maybe unpasteurized, but hopefully it's the packet one. Yeah. But she probably doesn't know that she needs to, you know, dilute it in a yeah. certain way. Mm. You, you know, she yes. probably doesn't know any of that because yeah. she shouldn't even be giving all she it. Ha mm. First of all, yeah, mm. she shouldn't be giving it. But right now, mm. conditions yeah. are not conditions allowing are necessary. Or things yeah. of you yeah. shouldn't be, yeah. you know. Yeah, exactly. When she goes to the clinic, she's asked, are you exclusive breastfeeding? Mm. Yes. Yes, you oh, have to say Lord. yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. You, have you have to say to. yes. <laughs> Otherwise, you get um, some more mm. already at the facility. Yeah, absolutely. Why are you mm. not exclusive There's breastfeeding? There's basically no support. You are now mm. killing your baby because that's what they're yeah. told. Yeah. If you're not exclusive mm. breastfeeding, you're killing mm. your baby. Mm. But she's working. Mm. The conditions are not conducive. Yeah. Mm. yeah? Mm. 
so how is she going to do this? Absolutely. Oh, and you know? and part of it, it's also, and it's, I, I like how it ties back to the whole um, gender equity conversation. Because mm-hmm. see, you immediately said that she, she should say there's no support or, but then this, in the informal uh, settlement, there's no point you're going to say, I need support. Yeah. What do you mean? Who support you for telling? what? There's first a queue. <laughs> there's a queue they have to go and through. Who's giving you this support, by the way? Do you oh, even know no. who to start with? Yeah. Is it the nutritionist? Is it the nurse? Well. They, they don't have time for you because they, 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 exactly. they are overworked. Yeah, they're overworked. Yeah, they are overworked, yeah. you know. Yeah. And, and for me, actually, that's truly that is where my passion mm-hmm. lies because mm-hmm. we are so pr- even just to be here even just to be able to have yeah. access to google You're so privileged yeah. to have access to a youtube channel that will even show me how i can hand express because mm. for me i i had to learn from yeah. youtube and that was many years ago but oh, the yeah. fact that people okay. still need yeah. to use youtube yeah. to learn how to hand express is already yeah. a big failure generally yeah. Yeah. but now this woman yeah. who if she knew that if she mm. could agitate for herself and say mama mm. Naomba dakika ishirini mm. hapa hapa mm. hapa mm. nitoe maziwa yeah. mm. just even that confidence to be able to say daktari aliniambia mm. mtoto wangu lazima akunywe maziwa yangu yeah. kwa hivyo naomba yeah. huu muda wakati yeah. huu mm. hivi yeah. alafu yeah. kuna pali ninaweza kuweka ice block zangu mm. she doesn't mm. even need to put her milk in your mm. fridge yeah. Yeah. Exactly. she just needs to put the ice blocks because she, she has the yam. lunch mm. bag right yeah. 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 then when she expresses she takes the ice blocks because mm. now they are frozen yeah. puts yes. them in an insulated bag mm-hmm. and yeah. puts and her puts milk, the milk there yeah, she doesn't even need a pump at that mm. point in time mm. because again where is she express. charging this pump you know exactly. but can she hand express does she mm. have access to clean water a tap mm. and all that mm. a place she, she can do all this so you see by 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 building this confidence yeah. in the community the by telling these women mm. you can do it not yeah. just express exclusively mm. i mean um you are six months yeah. because your yeah. baby might get diarrhea or might mm. will get yeah. yes. x y and z yeah. Yeah. but then tell me how, how? Yeah. Yeah. tell me what do i yes. need yes. to yes. say yeah. Yeah. because Absolutely. that law mm. should apply those sections should yes. apply to, to everybody everyone. not just mm. people in formal employment mm. with three months uh, leave mm. not just people working with a formal premises yeah, yeah? yeah. so what even as we are talking about mm. innovation so yeah. what are we giving these women yeah. who account for mm. the majority yeah. of the working population. Absolutely, absolutely. Wow. And I mean, wow. it's it's back to those, if you think about it, it's such a good development agenda it because is. then it reinforces the cycle of poverty as well, yes. right? Oh, yes. If you're not breastfeeding, right, your child, you are living in this informal settlement, what yes. do you expect from your child, yes. right? Oh, the yes. development delays, yes. the learning difficulties Stunting, and yes. all this, right? Oh, all yeah. this. Yeah. then that cycle continues yes. right so it it hits at so many points yes. and goes back to that conversation I like what you mentioned around the sabina chege bill mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because it's an element of penalties mm-hmm. incentives mm-hmm. but very big part of it in this even uhc conversation mm-hmm. is its community outreach yes, yes its community outreach because it doesn't necessarily need to be a doctor who's there no. right no. it doesn't even need necessarily to be even a medical or clinical person no. necessarily no. right mm. so then it becomes if you're setting up support structures mm. within communities mm. then the lady who's coming into work mm. right mm. the mama four yeah, right yes. who's coming in is able to know there's a place the mm. same way you have you know um mobile clinics and whatnot yeah, you're yeah, able yeah, to yeah. walk in yes. and these are conversations yeah. right yeah. Yeah. It's a program that in your charmer, then mm. it becomes a conversation yeah. you can always yeah. have as well. Yeah. Yeah. Then yeah. it's not a big sort of uh, um, issue to handle. Yeah. It's more support, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 Going back to the support as well. <laughs> And let me just add yeah. to that, yeah. believe it or not, yeah. it's there. Yeah. So there's this Baby Friendly Community Initiative, yeah. BFCI. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. yes. And so there are community health promoters uh-huh. who have been trained uh-huh. in BFCI. Uh-huh. So again, on paper, uh-huh. you deliver at a facility, yeah. you're released to a CHP, yeah. to a community unit. Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah? yeah. And that CHP should know, uh-huh. ah, this person delivered, uh-huh. so I need to visit them uh-huh. within 48 hours. Yes. I visit them. If there's any problem, mm. I link them 
to a facility. Yes. Yeah. See mm. on paper, yeah. it's, it's working it's very well. Yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you, I, I love Kenya for yeah. proper guidelines, proper policies. Ah, we have Our documents. Sta- oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> we have documents. <laughs> like <laughs> we, we <laughs> are benchmarks <laughs> for so many countries so on the ground. Oh, yes. <laughs> on the ground, there is nothing. Like uh, things yeah, are different. The, this we don't same even CHP have breastfeeding mm. friendly I mean, hospitals. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And this CHP has many other things to deal with. So for them, breastfeeding, they probably don't. They forgotten. They forgotten. What are yeah. the dangers? Again, signs? it's natural. Mm. Yes, and again, it's natural. Usually, when mm. they go and visit this mother, mm. they, it's mm. now about, oh, how are you feeling, and yeah. blah blah blah. Yeah. But they're not looking at is breastfeeding going well? well how many diapers yeah, have you changed? Diapers, mm. How is your baby? They're exactly. Yeah. Yes, mm. are they getting weight? How are you weight? feeling? Mm. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, it's 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 yeah. it's, it's yeah. there, and it's good to say it's yeah. there. But yeah. now we 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 really need to start. Um, we we need to reignite. We need we, we need to find a way mm. for all of us to work together. Yeah. So. And mm. it can't just be left to maybe one minute. First of all, we really need to start being very multi-sectoral, um, <laughs> interdisciplinary. <laughs> Otherwise, we are going to be talking about this for another 10 years. Oh, or more. <laughs> or more. <laughs> yeah. So now it's how to action that yeah. support. How to... We need to make it a priority. It. We need to make them see mm. it's a priority. Mm. Absolutely. I feel like it needs to be an agenda. The same way you put it in manifestos, right? Mm. Yes. It needs to be an agenda that perhaps starts... It doesn't even need to be presidential level Mm. right Mm. it can be at a certain county level Mm. right Mm. then it becomes an agenda that's a political agenda everything else follows Mm. right Mm. because this can be a platform that say a governor center whoever it is can Mm. run on right Mm. women women Mm. can Mm. run on very Mm. easily Because again, the resources, it's not its not a large investment, mm, right? It's, really it's mm. dedicated investment. Mm. It's mm. focused investment. Mm. I mean, the reason why it works in Europe, it's exactly what mm. you're saying, that there's someone who's going to come to you and check at two weeks, yes. right? Yeah, two it's days. Uh, yeah. Exactly. He's going to come and check and mm. say, you know what, mm. right? Mm. It's the support. And fundamentally in the UK, for mm. example, mm. right? It's that if I had an injury today, an mm. accident, right? Mm. I go to the hospital, right? I go back home, but there's a physiotherapist who's going to come in. Yes. To your premise of yes, yes. residential, exactly. right? Yes. And that's what makes it great. It's not mm. the fact that everyone can access a doctor no. or they did not queue mm. or all these mm. factors which we make it to be it's the complexities of healthcare. What mm. makes it work? It's the support system. Yes. Right? Because you at community at community level. And you see, when we yeah. offer yeah. that support at the community level, mm. if this uh, peer counselor, mm. breastfeeding counselor comes to visit this mother mm. forty eight hours mm. later. Mm. If there are any issues, they'll mm. be addressed. Yeah. Mm. What are the likelihoods that this mother yeah. will later develop bigger problems? Yeah. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm. So this mother will be yeah. You, you may not even need follow-ups yeah. because you are assessed very early yeah. and whatever issues were caught on very early. Yeah. Mm. So in the end, it's it's really effective. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Absolutely. And I mean, going back to the work you've been doing as mm. well, right? Mm. You say 12 years, right? Mm. It cannot have been easy, mm. right? <laughs> 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 having this conversation 12 years later i can tell you it has not been easy people are like what are you talking about why is why is this important well, yeah, why yeah, is this a yeah. real this. problem to have <laughs> is it right i mean what are those challenges specifically i, I mean you can take whatever mm-hmm. route but mm-hmm. it's policy what have has been the challenge even mm-hmm. by the time you're forming the association mm-hmm. why why was it necessary mm-hmm. what yeah. led to that yeah yeah and i think it's uh, the association had to be formed yeah. so that we could differentiate between somebody who is trained and certified yeah. mm-hmm. and somebody who is just trained yeah. in okay. lactation support yeah. provision mm-hmm. What's the difference? because the one thing we do mm-hmm. and and even now, after mm. having breastfed four children yeah. and, 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 and all that, mm. if I still hadn't done the training and certified, yeah. there's still so many things I wouldn't know about yeah. breastfeeding. Yeah. Yeah. And unfortunately, what happens is that Kenyans, we are experts, by the way, mm. oh, at are. everything. Ah, we, we know. Are, <laughs> as you've had a child, you can support everybody. <laughs> so, Absolutely. <laughs> it became a problem. <laughs> it became a problem yeah. when now, in mm. your professional capacity, and you're going to charge people mm. and it took a while for many of us in the association to even start mm. charging for a home visit 2k mm, yeah. and that time you spent 3k just back and forth and stuff uh, like that yeah. but we had to build trust yes because yes. this is a very personal space yes. it is yes. yes 
Um, and what we'd find yeah. is that now when you're going in, yeah. this person has already told you, oh, but so-and-so came, yeah. it didn't work, mm. um, and they told me they can help me, mm. but it, it's actually become worse. And you ask, who is so-and-so? And then yeah, I just saw them on, on the in, oh, mm. internet. Oh, yeah. it, it, a lot of it was Facebook. Mm, Facebook yeah. I saw yeah. them on Facebook. Mm. They said they know how to do breastfeeding yeah. counseling. Mm. So oh. I call them. Mm. Then you find it's just somebody who is very confident, yeah. but yeah. breastfeeding has worked for them. Ah. Yes. So you so see, breastfeeding working for you mm. does not necessarily mean mm. that you know how to handle knowledge. someone else's it challenges. Yeah. Absolutely. And there are so many steps to it. So yeah. we were like, you know what? We yeah. know now there's more training that's happening yeah. yes. because there was an organizer. It is. It's still there. Elizabeth yeah. Project International. Oh, yeah, mm. it's still there. Yeah. Mm. And they do certification through Lamaze. Yeah. So it is mm. a proper certification. Mm. You can use it anywhere internationally. Yeah. Yeah. And then we realize let's all yeah. come together yeah. so that we can also harmonize the way even we deliver our services yes. mm-hmm. yeah. so that it's very professional Mm -hmm. if you have a a a scale a rate a rate card it's on a sliding scale if that's okay but also making sure that uh, professional development is very important Mm. Mm. because knowledge and studies and research in this um, space lactation and breastfeeding is changing as technology advances Mm -hmm. so we're able to learn more through mris Mm. through scans so Mm. how does a breast really work like Mm -hmm. what i was taught 10 years ago and what is now is it's mind-blowing like so yeah. every year we yeah. have to make sure that we um, are either attending online conferences yeah. mm-hmm. and even when you become an international board certified lactation consultant, you yeah. still have to recertify every five years. Yeah. Yeah. So you see, there's that idea yeah. of yeah. being yeah. ethical. Yeah. Yeah. And in this space, what yeah. happens mm. is that because we still have this perception that breastfeeding is natural, mm. that it is isolated yeah. from motherhood Mm -hmm. from the economy like it's an isolated act absolutely yeah Yeah. we overlook that specific professional support absolutely but this whole conversation Mm -hmm. around breastfeeding has taken us to the workplace Mm -hmm. it's taken us to the economy exactly just in this few minutes exactly this is just breastfeeding absolutely so the more we understand that just having a foundational support system is going to now overflow mm. and is going to touch absolutely. every other aspect if this yeah. mother is well supported absolutely professionally skilled support yeah. yes. yes it means that we prevent the issues yeah exactly and then she just moves through yes. and even back to equity mm. yeah you see it means yeah. that now she has a yeah. better her playing field is more level. Exactly. That she has oh, less yes. um, hurdles. Yeah, I know exactly. that um, yeah. infographic yeah. of the woman. <laughs> <Yeah>. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> and and the man is yes. exactly so, you know, like like looking <laughs> up and going. Absolutely. And she's jumping. Yeah. Yeah. So with this support, mm. we've removed at we least removed one steep hurdles. Yeah. True. Yeah. Yeah. True. Yeah. True. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's still puzzling to me, mm. right? It's always puzzling that... You know, you have these conversations, right? Mm. And people still take it as we said, hobby mm, and whatnot, yes. right? Mm. Yeah. Then in that case, if you don't have enough support, say, from medical community mm. who say this is important enough mm. to ensure that this becomes, if not medical, mm. a cadre that is yes. recognized. Yes, over consistently exactly yes. and it's this escalation right it's mm. the whole primary care mm. health network mm. model right exactly. you start from home mm. the only reason why you should come see a doctor at a level six facility mm. is because you've gone through the gone cycle through the, and yes, no one yes, is able yes, to pinpoint yes. it because yes. half of the time mm. it can be arrested at community level yes, you don't need true. to be queuing in a facility yes, just to get information you could have yeah. gotten yeah. right yeah. and be charged five thousand ten thousand whatever it yeah. is right yeah. but also it's that conversation around i think um also being very clear i think in terms of the structure right mm. and this uh, i'm leading towards a question here mm. right mm. in terms of the training mm. right mm. because then at the same time the mm. conversation needs to be it, the structured curriculum mm. which you run mm. right mm. what does that entail mm. right so that people mm. are not taking it for granted they're not saying they come and have a chat ah, here yes. as women and say oh, oh yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, I like uh, that that's so true yeah. <laughs> right? this amount of money <laughs> <laughs> and pay right because yeah. people always question why am I paying why am I you paying this? this yet you just had a conversation yeah, right yeah. why yeah. what goes into that so that then yeah. people are saying there's value to this yeah. and yes. the value is not just yeah you yeah. are able to yeah that's so true and actually that's one of the things mm. that we were ac- we were actioned with mm. when now we went and we asked can we become a cadre mm. and it was like okay you have all these foreign curriculums so can you also be a localized thing here yeah 
but so basically you can start with a three day program yeah. and that's now very basic uh, mm-hmm. breastfeeding counseling mm-hmm. where the most important thing is the foundational skills which mm-hmm. are listening and learning and confidence building mm-hmm. so almost like any other counselor you mm-hmm. know and then now with basic understanding of mm-hmm. the anatomy yeah. and um, yeah which is how breastfeeding works and mm-hmm. positioning and attachment yeah. yeah so that is ideally something that anybody who has a passion for supporting mm-hmm. their neighbor their yes. you know yes. in their community mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah? yeah so yeah. very basic and then after that like i was saying mm. uh, uh before we started recording then you mm. have let's say a lactation educator yeah. now that is more intense mm. because it also gives you a curriculum on how mm. to now teach mm. so this first one of counseling mm. is you now you're just talking to a mother and you're mm. helping her work through mm. her Impressive challenges mm. and then to understand does mm. she need to see somebody a bit more specialized yeah. Yeah. still within the lactation support uh, professional um, rankings mm. uh, yeah mm. system mm. Um, now the lactation educator mm. now yeah. is able to because not all of us can educate mm. but they can now also start running prenatal classes mm-hmm. because now they're teaching the mother yeah. this is what your breast looks like this yeah. is uh-huh. why you need to put your baby on mm. in the first hour mm. this is yeah. what okay. you Experience. is going to happen mm. you know mm. over the next yeah. six weeks mm. yeah mm. and anytime you need help you can mm. still come back to me yeah. or you can still work with your breastfeeding counselor mm. yeah mm. and then now we are starting to work with specializations mm. you can find people who specialize in oral function mm. you yes. can find people who specialize in um, just anything to do with the baby anything to do with breastfeeding yeah. Um, and then also the length of time. So like yeah. I said, the first one is about three days. That's mm. usually the minimum one. And then you have a 46-hour course. Yeah. Um, and again, it goes into more detail. Yeah. And then you have the really meaty mm. one, which mm. is 95, 95. hours. Mm. And that one yeah. now, mm. we are talking about not just physiology, yes. but we are talking yeah, about anatomy, yeah. reflexes. Yeah. You're talking now medical terms. Yeah. 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 And to become an, uh, now the, the highest uh, level, yeah. the international board certified lactation consultant and actually one of our our chairperson mm. recently uh qualified last yeah. year yeah. so we have a kenyan ibclc yes. so yeah. proud of her mm. yeah. um now that one there are several pathways mm. but the most common one is if you're already a me- in the medical profession mm. yeah. which yeah. means you're a nurse mm. um whatever mm. which means you've done some um health si- human mm. sciences yes and if you haven't you do them mm. anyway yes. then you do the 95 hour yeah. course mm. then you, you do, do a hands-on well. minimum mm. yeah. 500 hours yeah. of yeah. clinical mm. practice wow yes. uh-huh Mm. And uh, mm. I, before, mm. actually, they changed it, thankfully, before you had to be supervised yeah. by an, another IBCLC. IBC. Oh, but mm. that locked us out, especially mm. the Global South, because yes. there are not that mm. many. Yeah. But now they change it. All you have mm. to show is that you've done a certain amount of yeah. hours, and this can be yeah. another supervisor. They yeah. don't have to be an IBCLC, yeah. but it has to be recorded. Yeah. Somebody can vouch for the fact that you have worked mm. with mothers mm. or the breastfeeding diet mm. for that minimum yeah. number of yes. hours. Yeah. Yeah. So you see, it's not I woke up today and decided, and decided I am like going I, to I i cannot call yeah. myself an ibc oh and then you sit an exam yeah yes you okay have you have to sit the exam yes, yes. yes. Yeah. so even if i've done all that mm. i haven't sat the exam yeah. so i can't be an yeah. ibc yeah. you know yeah. and I have my hours. I mean, in 10 years, yes. I definitely have my have hours. hours. Yes. But there are yeah. certain things you yeah. still have to. Yes. So we do have checks and balances. Yes. We do have um, ways to confirm that you're certified. Yes. Yes. So I just can't come from and home and say, I am, I am here. Has, <laughs> has <laughs> decided. <laughs> yeah, and even to become a member, yeah. we ask. Yes. You have to send us yes. uh, your certificate, yeah. whatever yeah. it is. Yes. And you can't just you can't uh, just send me your, your RN from the yes. nursing ca- no. Mm, no. You must I want come. a specific certification yes. and training in yes. breastfeeding support yes. or lactation management. That's Absolutely. Mm. I mean, then it comes back to then how do we get, say, I, I want to say Ministry of Health, <laughs> but I don't necessarily think it's Ministry of Health. It's okay. not one sort of ministry, okay. one department, exactly. right? How do we ensure that if you're within whatever community you belong to, mm. right? You can get support mm. where you are, mm. right? Mm. Is it that we need to shout a little bit more? Mm. Yes. A, yes. Mm. <laughs> um, but is it then just more advocacy, right? And we need mm. to campaign because I think if people even at a hospital facility do mm. not know, 
mm-hmm. myself. I was mm-hmm. asking questions at the beginning. I'm mm-hmm. like, okay, this needs to be something that as you're going through your nine months mm-hmm. here, you know this is where the handover is mm-hmm. going to be, right? Yeah. This is the place you can go to, right? Mm-hmm. How do we get that conversation? How... I know I'm asking impossible questions. Here. Yeah. <laughs> How do we get that conversation How going? Do we need to normalize support? Mm. Yes. Advocacy. Think, mm. Yes, advocacy, normalizing support. Yes. Um I think we need to borrow a lot from the west and we need mm. to stop the if it, if it's it doesn't mean that we can't translate. Yes. And contextualize. Mm. You know. But normalizing, we can't leave it like you're saying to yeah. the Ministry of Health. Mm, yeah. We can't leave it to first of all, even the fact that it's now devolved, which means mm. each county decides whether or not they want uh-huh. to do BFC. This is yeah. what I was looking for. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. So you go to yeah. one county if you're in Campbell, yeah. maybe I think even now is when they are launching their BFCI yeah. program, yeah. if I'm not wrong. Yeah. But at least the ones I've worked in, they yeah. already have a strong and even then yes. you'll find one county that has a very, very strong structure mm. program. Then you 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 Go oh, back and you realize it's because of their leadership yeah. teams. Oh, Christ, then you yeah. come back to another one. Yes, they have the training, mm. but they haven't yeah. been um, uh, implementing it on the ground. Yeah. So mm. I think it's it's coming to an understanding. There are mm. some things that should, because they are so fundamental, yeah. they cannot be left to mm. individual mm. county level <laughs> decisions. Yes. Yeah. There are some things that have to be taken back. Yeah. Mm. And to say, so how do we do this? Mm. How are we going to work? Mm. Private, yes. public, mm. all of us, yes. because our focus is the diet. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Yeah. I don't, I'm not here to win over you. Yeah. Our focus is the diet. Yeah. So how are we going to work together, yeah. the yeah. doctors, the yeah. different professionals? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Because clearly we are all in this mm. together. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This diet comes yeah. to see all of us. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. But mm. why do they have to see five different people to mm. solve one issue? One yeah. issue. Yeah. When if they saw one team... Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You, yeah. you realize like, um, for example, this is something that awareness needs to be spread. Yes. Mm-hmm. If you were to just encounter even 20-year-old young adults yes. and you ask them, where do you go f- if you're female? Mm. Who would you see if mm-hmm. you have issues with your mm-hmm. female reproductive mm-hmm. health? And they know, yeah, I'll go to a gyne. Mm-hmm. And if you if you have a problem with your baby, who do you see a pediatrician? Mm-hmm. Now ask them mm-hmm. if you have a problem breastfeeding. Mm-hmm. No one knows. Mm-hmm. No one knows mm-hmm. there's anything like yeah. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No one knows even to seek because even we are there mm. and yet there are people who will not reach us mm. mainly because they don't know mm. but we need to sensitize mm. the public mm. even at community level individual level they need to mm. be sensitized they need mm. to be aware then they need to seek these services mm. and demand for these services mm. as because are things that are needed to mm. be there yeah. I mean, this conversation could go on. <laughs> I feel like, no, as right? always, <laughs> we need to have another one. Because I think fundamentally it goes back to this universal health coverage conversation, uh-huh. right? Uh-huh. Because we almost seem to talk about social health shift and whatnot, the contributions, yes. Yes, right? Yes. But then there's a system that's meant to implement mm-hmm. all this. Universal health coverage is the goal, mm-hmm. right? And if you're talking about, you know, we now have community health promoters who now are being paid, mm-hmm. right? If you're looking at um, reinforcing primary health care, right? Mm-hmm. This is where that needs to be one of those yes. priorities, yes. right? It needs to be part of this will be one, two, three, yes. right? So then when we're talking about it, we're not talking about it again, now as a silo conversation. This is not just, it's yeah. part of what makes the system works mm-hmm. as well, right? Mm-hmm. Which then means, I th- or, or at least I think, mm-hmm. the next conversation needs to be we, br- we bring someone from the county, someone mm-hmm. from mm-hmm. wherever it is, so that yeah. we have that conversation. Yeah. How do we ensure that it's part of that, part of the system, mm-hmm. right? Because mm-hmm. fundamentally, unless we're looking at it as a whole, mm-hmm. as opposed to, ah, this is an isolated yes. issue, yeah. mm-hmm. then we'll still mm-hmm. be here, as mm-hmm. you say, 10 mm-hmm. years mm-hmm. later, having s- this same conversation, mm-hmm. and the private sector is having a conversation <laughs> because then they need an ESG metric ticked exactly. and whatnot, right? <laughs> they cut the ribbon in oh, a yeah, room and yes. they're like, ah, yes. we're good now. Uh, then mm. public, it's not even a conversation, not, right? Not, yeah. Yet it is part of the conversation mm. that if you're talking about universal health coverage, it's mm. people being able to afford care, mm-hmm. uh, quality care, quality no matter care. where they are, mm. right? Yes. So then that means if I'm mm. breastfeeding, mm. that's part of mm. that. That's part of the care. Yeah, it's part know. of that yeah. conversation. Mm. And that's yeah. the conversation we need to have. 
Absolutely. Right? Now, I, I see mine on the background say, now, <laughs> when you bring <laughs> women in a room, <laughs> they continue <laughs> talking. Talk and talk and talk. <laughs> Well, that is true. <laughs> this is why we need more of us in leadership. There'd be so much less we talking and more doing us. because we're also very good at just getting on with it. You know, as like we talk, talk, yeah, as we, we talk, find a way we forward and we keep, you know. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And I think even that whole conversation around bringing it to even charmers, mm. girlfriends having a conversation mm. about it yeah. so that it's not everyone struggling on their, on their own. own. On their own without knowing. Mm. Yeah. And being mm. told I went through it to figure it out <laughs> as well. Because it yes. it's, that stigma yeah. is propagated yes. in the same yes, way, right? Yes, yeah. That's another conversation. Yeah. Stigma. We haven't even gotten to the <laughs> no, got into <laughs> Oh my gosh. And the cultural issues that actually are also barriers to our work. And they yeah. are. No, and you have to so come again. Yeah, <laughs> that is so real. Yeah. We'll yeah. come back. I have, have to come again because this, this yeah. is, yeah. it's such a central conversation. It really is. It really is. is. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, ladies, Thank you. <laughs> for Thank being you here. Thank you for having us. Thank you for this platform. Uh, no. It's very important. Thank no. you. That, that, that's why we're here. Mm. That's why we're here mm. because we cannot say we're achieving universal health coverage mm. if this is not the conversation we're having. Mm. Sure. Mm. Mm. And thank you for joining us on the One Health Podcast. We'll see you next time. Mm.